everyone. Today we are doing our week four weekly check-in from March 22nd to March 28th. So what we're going to do is put my other pen over here is groceries here. I've been taking $150 out. We had $10 left. We spent that $10 and I spent an additional, uh, what was it, uh, $70. So I spent $80 all together. And I forgot to bring my red pen over. So that put us over budget. I'll just mark it in orange. That put us over budget by $70. So I'll just highlight this so I know that we were over budget on that. Yeah, I forgot my red pen. That's okay. There we go. So, with everything going on, we've been definitely spending a lot of money on food. So, that cut into the week four money that we were supposed to do, because we did uh, 115 for week one, and had five dollars left. We didn't spend that five dollars, so we put that in to get a five dollar gift card. And then I took an additional $50, 150 for week three, which technically was, this was supposed to be my son's week, but we, we were running out of things, we were getting low with the milk, the bread, the eggs, and, you know, we needed to stock up on a couple of other things. Still can't find any paper products anywhere, so we're... Still trying to get, I think I'm down to one box of tissues now. And, um, I got, uh, maybe eight rolls of toilet paper, eight rolls of paper towels, excuse me, and about 12 rolls of bath tissue. So, hopefully I can find some within the next week. If not, then I don't know what we're going to do. Because... Every store we went into don't don't have any. So that's the story with the groceries. So we are seventy dollars over budget as of right now. So okay, gas. Last week we had one hundred and thirty. We added ninety to twenty. He spent sixty dollars, so we should have. 160. Now I know he spent more gas because I have that here because I wrote it down. He spent an additional $60 for gas so that should give us $100 left in the gas envelope. So let's count that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we're right on the money with that. I think next month in April, I'm going to start tracking um, the lawn because now our lawn guy uh, started up. So I am, we pay him monthly and we give it to him for a month. He usually comes like every two weeks to cut the grass. So we give it to him monthly. And then I'm going to start tracking the household and the personal care. I mean, normally I don't because what's ever in those envelopes, whatever I use up, I normally don't put any more in until the next time my husband gets paid. But I figured nowadays tracking every penny that I can. But that is that for for this. So we're seventy dollars over in groceries, and we still have a hundred dollars in for gas. The gas I keep rolling over for the simple reason we've got to keep $200 in there at all times. So I just keep rolling over the um, the gas every month. So whatever's in there, I roll it to the, 
the following month and then I just add money to it. But as far as our sinking funds go, um, I did have to touch some money out of the sinking funds. Um, uh, I'm trying to, I think it was the car maintenance. I took $60 out of the car maintenance. So I'm just going to write $60 there. Christmas is fine. Car insurance is fine. Medical's fine. Vacation, we added money to. That was uh, two weeks ago that we did that. And right now, it looks like that's the only big chunk that we had that came out of the sinking funds was I had to take money out of the car maintenance. I had nothing to do with the any kind of maintenance we had to have on the car. The car, the truck has been excellent so far. No problems with it whatsoever. I had to take it for signs. I think I took it for for food, so maybe that's why I was over like seven seventy dollars in um, in the food budget. And I know I'm going to probably be over more more than that. So. But that is it for this video. Uh, not much going on. This is the last week, you know, week check-in for. And I don't see anything else happening. Pretty much the same as the past couple weeks been. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Um, everybody, please stay healthy. Stay safe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Bye.